People have made cast nets for many, many years. Originally, most cast nets were made out of cotton twine, like number nine, C. Allen twine. And the mesh was created by rows and rows of sheep spin knots. With the creation of nylon and monofilament lines, the sheep spin knot is still very popular and used considerably in this art. However, since the sheep spin slips easily and these not these types of twines are somewhat slippery, they tend to stretch especially when you have larger fish in the net and will actually allow the fish to escape by stretching the size of the mesh. The knot I'm going to show you is what I was told uh, years ago when I was taught this by a fisherman from Balabatri, Louisiana, or Alabama, was that this particular knot is called the flying knot. And what you do is you take your small finger, you wrap the twine around, you bring it back up under your index finger, you make a loop, then you come back through the bottom loop, you come up through the mesh, you bring that loop down over the mesh, then you just pop it. And what that does is basically lock the knot. Now I'm on a widener row. A cast net has 11 wideners. Some people put 12, but to me that just makes extra mesh that really doesn't tend to spread. The original cast nets had 11 wideners and every other row is a widener row. You start out basically with 23 loops. Uh, you put in 11 wideners. You come down a, a couple of rows with what we call double rows, which is where you just double the twine. Then you start your widener row. Your first one of 11, you do a, a straight row with no wideners. Then you do a, another widener row and your net gets larger and larger as you progress. Again, small finger around, over, back through the mesh, and pop it. Now this particular widener row has five wideners, or five mesh in between the wideners. So that's three. Four. Five. And you can see your widener above it. You want to go through that that mesh, that center mesh. And with this, you will just do the sheep spin knot. Which is basically just pull a loop. Pull it down tight to your widener. Let it loop across, loop over. Come in between the loop and just bring it down. Then you'll start another row of uh, run of five and then you'll have a widener. You'll do that all the way through until you finish up that particular row of your net. The next row will not have any wideners. This video assumes that you have started learning to make cast nets, that you're probably using the sheep's bin, and all it's intended to do is teach you a knot that is a more secure knot that will, uh, especially when you're using monofilaments or nylon, will make your knot much tighter and uh, 
your net more usable.